So we have four key areas that we are always creating results in our health, in our love and relationships, in our work, and among the amount of time and money freedom that we have. You and I have certain results that we are always creating. Some results we're in love with and some results we're like, I wish I could change it. Go ahead and, you know, go ahead and put it in the chat. Are there some results that you love? Absolutely. I have some results that I'm in love with. And then there are some results that I want to have the next result or I want to improve the, the results. So there's a very predictable way of how humans create results. It's a predictable formula of how we create results. And what I call is the results formula. Now the results formula, the results formula is going to share, and what I'm gonna share is how we create results and what are the components that you must start paying attention to, okay? We have thoughts throughout the day. You and I have, it's probably over 60,000 thoughts. As soon as we get up, what, what time we're going to get up, what are we going to eat, what, to, you know, what route we're going to take for work, um, what are we going to wear. We have numerous thoughts. So the thoughts you're thinking creates a feeling. The thoughts you're thinking creates a feeling. So let's use this example. You wake up with the thought of today, I'm going to take that step that that is going to move me in the direction of finding and attracting a job. You are excited about that. You are thinking that thought. The feeling you're going to have is a feeling of confidence, the feeling of possibility, the feeling of, yes, today's the day. Let's reverse that. You wake up and you're thinking to yourself, you know what, it has been months and I've been applying to jobs and I'm not getting the responses. And you know what, such a waste of time and I don't wanna keep doing it. Feeling of contraction, feeling of just almost like despair and no hope, right? So do you see the thoughts that you're thinking creates a feeling. It's a physiological feeling of expansion, confidence, hope versus despair. And this is never going to happen for me. There is a vast contrast. So the thoughts that you think generate a feeling and that feeling generates the action you're going to take. So let's take that example of you wake up and you're like, today I am taking that step. I am, you know, getting out and I am making those phone calls and I am, you know, preparing for my, um, my interview. And I am, you know, I have to, I had to call, you know, this person and I'm going to call that person, that thought, feeling of expansion. You take that bold step and it creates a new result. But you wake up and think, oh, my gosh, this is so hard. And, you know, companies are laying off people. And this is never going to happen for me. Feeling of despair. Feeling of, you know, almost losing hope. You don't take that action that you have on your calendar. And that creates a result. So put in the chat if what I'm sharing with you is resonating and, and as you're thinking through this, you're noticing what has been my predominant thought process. Put that in the chat. Are you noting, noticing some connection between the thoughts you're thinking to the results that you have created up until now? And really not from a place of judgment or right or wrong, just simply noticing the thoughts that you have been generating. Put that in the chat. The untrained mind can look at all the results that are happening, right? I'm taking this action. I'm filling out these applications. I'm going for these job interviews. And I'm taking all of these action steps. 
the untrained mind, when they don't get that result, they call them their causes. But actually what they do call them is their B causes. I'm too old. The economy is going south. Uh, nobody's hiring. I'm never going to get a job. And they, and they start going into the spiral of all the reasons it's not working. But the first cause of all our results is in the thoughts we generate. If we can start to pay attention to the thoughts we're thinking, are they in alignment with the result I want? Or am I off, off balance? Not in alignment. So it's very important for us to really start noticing the thoughts we are thinking because the everything is created in thought. The desk you're sitting on, the shirt that I am wearing, the computer that we are zooming in from was created first in thought. And then it, cre and it became form. So if I'm thinking thoughts of possibility, I'm thinking thoughts of, yes, this is it, and I'm going to take this action step, that's going to move molecules versus the thought of despair and this is never happening and this is so hard. And, and do you see that the, the difference of the thoughts that we're thinking creates a different result, creates a feeling of what energy we are coming from, right? Because you and I have results. We have results in our health. We have results in our work. We have results in our love and relationships and the amount of time and money freedom. We all have results and our results don't lie. Our results don't lie. So that is a very, you know, I want to, the reason I wanted to take so much time to explain this is because if you can harness, if you can understand how results are created, how human results are created, there's a very predictable, repeatable way how we create results, right? I'm not, I'm going to obey these because I know that this works. Law of electricity. I'm not going to go ag you, against law of electricity. I'm not going to put my finger in the socket and get, I know I'm going to get el electrocuted. So why will I not obey the law of electricity? I'm going to work it the way it works. So for you, this is the law of cause and effect. If I'm thinking thoughts of, yes, possibility, I am going to generate a feeling, which is going to create an action step, which we will source through later, and that creates a, a result that I have.